This video is going to take you through the process of creating a Natan using Google Draw. These can be quite complex and they can also be quite simple. But we need to start off with a blank canvas. So let's go to our drive, open up a new Google Draw and start by adding a shape to the middle which represents our initial black piece of paper. So choose shapes, the square and draw that in the middle of our page. So we need to make sure that there's enough space around each side of our square. So just move it around to the middle of the page, make it bigger or smaller as you need to and change it into black. From here, we're going to start adding our shapes onto our Natan. So you're going to use the polyline tool to start with, and this will allow you to make geometric shapes. And you need to make sure that they are going from one edge of the paper to the same edge and that they are complete shapes. Once you've done that, you can change the color to white. You're then going to copy and paste it. So you can make sure you select it first. Um, go edit, copy, edit, paste. And then we're going to go arrange and we are going to flip vertically. And then it's just a case of dragging it to meet the edges of our paper. And once we've got it in position, we're going to fill it with black. So it's a pretty simple process. You just need to make sure that they meet up along that edge. So it might take a little bit of moving around or editing um, the, the end points near the edges and we just continue that again. So make our shape, fill it white, edit, copy, edit, paste, arrange, flip, and move into position. Fill it with black. You can also see that there's many preset shapes that you can select. Some of them won't work really well, but some of the organic ones like the cloud or the heart you could use. And it's just a case of selecting those, dragging your shape onto your black page, filling it with white. And again, copy, paste, flip. This time we've got to flip horizontally rather than vertically. And it's important that you ensure that it is the same distance away from the edge that your white one is. And you can see there the little guideline came up to tell me that they were both centered with each other. And fill it in black. So I'm just going to continue this with another preset shape of a lightning. And I'm also going to use the polyline tool to do another shape down along the bottom edge. Okay, so that's a fairly simple process using the preset tools, but you can see here that you can get quite complex shapes as well. And this is done with a little bit of a trick using tracing and a photo. So, what we need to do is we need to get the photo that we're going to trace. So you're going to go insert image from the internet, search for the shape that you'd like. So I'm going to search for a bird. Once that image is in your screen, you can enlarge it so it makes it easier to trace around or you can use the zoom in and out button to uh, make it bigger or smaller up to you. But just move it over to the side. It doesn't need to be um, in the middle of your page. And then you're just going to use a polyline tool to trace around it. So make sure that you click quite regularly so that you don't have many hard angles, particularly if it's got a lot of curves in it. Um, but it is going to be quite small, so it doesn't make too much of a difference if there are a few little angles in there as well. So once you've enclosed that circle or that shape, you can then use the select tool 
to actually drag that over to your piece you can then get rid of that photograph you're finished with it select it again reduce the size to what you need it to be and drag it into position so I'm just putting this so that the wing tip is touching the edge of my paper might need to rotate it a little bit or enlarge it or reduce it and then we go through the process so make it white edit copy edit paste arrange and flip it out so I just need to make sure that when I flip it out and move it that my little wing tip is touching that edge and when I'm happy it's a case of changing it to black so you can see here that the artworks can be very complex um, and you can use up most of the space it's up to you how you work it and how much you trace and how much you use the preset designs in there so have fun with this technique and can't wait to see what you come up with <music>